last video tutorial on scatter plots in SAS part three. So we're going to use another procedure to create more plots. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do proc plot, or not like we did before, but we're going to change it a little bit. We're going to add another letter. So before we added a G, now we're going to go proc SG plot. Our data is again the race data from the Sydney Hobart dot txt file that we've been using uh, if you don't remember how to load those in look back in the previous videos on scatter plots and you'll see how to do that okay this is a little bit different we don't actually use a plot statement here we use the word scatter because we're interested in a scatter plot and here we're going to actually specify what is the x variable and the x variable in our case is and let me put it, x equals year and our y variable is equal to time Okay, so this should give us a plot right away. Now it tells you here that it's a scatter plot, so that makes it a little bit nicer. So let's give this a run. Notice that we now have a different plot than we had before. Time is now along this axis a little more and along the bottom, and it circles. And if you stare at this long enough, you'll go, wait a minute, this looks pretty close to what was actually generated by R. And that does kind of look like what was generated by R if you've ever done this or look at a previous video that does this. Okay, so we have this and what we want to do is doctor it up just a little bit. So one of the things we might want to do is actually add a regression line to this so we can change this picture just a little bit, but by no longer saying scatter, we actually want to use reg. So we're going to run a regression line through this and here I'm going to add some information. Well, let's see what this does first before we add anything else. Uh, we can add titles just like before, but just by adding the word reg, we get a line that comes down through our data, which is quite useful because we did that in a previous video in, in R, but also uh, you can see how the trend of the data goes. Okay, so let's add a little bit more to this. It's pretty easy to add confidence limits, so I'm going to do CLM. Okay. And if I add these confidence limits on the mean, that's what CLM is, it gives me this bands around it. And these are the confidence intervals for the mean of the regression line. Uh, this is not a predictive interval. That's why most of the data doesn't fall in these because it's about the line and the mean value, not necessarily the points. Okay, what if I did want a prediction interval? Well, then I can just add CLI as well. And this should give us our additional information. So we now have our line, we have our bands for the mean, and we have our bands, prediction bands here, which are these dashed lines that says what we would predict the values to be. And notice that the prediction bands are pretty wide and most of the values do fall inside of them. All right, so now we've figured out how to doctor these up. You can change colors and everything. But right now, I'm just trying to show you the different tools that SAS has available for generating scatter plots and adding lines to them. All right, so now we can move on to the next video.